What's going on guys? We are back tonight with another video for you and I want to do something I haven't done in a while and that is crack a pack, build the deck on the fly and see if I can win a game. So before I do though, I did want to mention to you guys to go check out the curated decks because look at that, you got one of uh, your boy four plays decks in curated. This is the deck I just did the video on the other night and uh you can see it is now listed in curated decks for you guys. So go check that out when you get a chance. Just wanted to show that off. But uh, all right, let's go uh, to the shop. So I saw this top one here, Choose Your Fate. We get five limited legendary cards. And basically what I want to do is buy this pack and try to use at least two of the legendaries in this uh, pack in my deck. I want to Obviously, I want to try to maximize and use as many as I can, but... Uh, I want to do at least two, and I'm hoping they're not completely trash, so uh, I can come up with some type of deck that's halfway decent here. But uh, let's go give it a go and uh, see what we get. Hopefully something good. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, where's that? We got, ooh, G. That's a good one. Cilia. Okay. Catherine the Great. Oh, Karl Marx. That's not the greatest. And Homunculus. Oh. Woo. Well, that's a doozy there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm kind of thinking we go with Homunculus. Maybe do another occult deck with five senses. I don't know if I've tried that yet. Uh, what can we toss in with it? Maybe this Scylla would be the play? Catherine the Great. Gain four. Uh, that, that card's playable, too. It's a little expensive, but uh, definitely don't think this is the play. Just because chances are, well, I guess we got four arts and culture cards, but chances are I'm going to want to play history. Uh, Hygie, I doubt we're going to go tiny deck. I'm thinking it's going to be Scylla and Homunculus. Uh, man, that could have been that could have been way better, I feel like. <laughs> but we're going to go for it. So let's go make a deck. Go to decks. Uh, what do we got here? Goat rights? Yeah, we can kill that one. All right. So we had Homunculus, and we said Scylla. All right, there's our start. So this card wants occult cards, your five, and wait, so if played between the occult cards, your five senses cards get, okay, so we need five senses, right? So that should be easy. I'm hoping I got enough. Honestly, can't remember what I have in five senses. What was five senses? Is that... I know I scrolled right by it, didn't I? Brilliant human body? All right, so what's our senses? We got... Touch, hearing, taste, smell, sight. Is that the five? your taste, if your smell, if your sight, if your touch. Okay, I think that's the five. All right, so we, we're rocking homunculus, uh, and we need occult cards now. So let's run over to occult, check that out. And see what we can come up with here, man. I don't know. It's, uh, it's making me a little nervous here. I feel like that was not the best. <clears throat> and here's why. Cards like this. If your deck contains no science cards, you buff your occult. Well, sometimes I don't like that, you know. I, and this one, too. I don't get this card, either. Electronic voice is pretty important. All right, so maybe we don't go too heavy on occult then. 
Is this does this buff a cult? Your five senses cards, wherever they are, gain sixteen perm if played between, and it just buffs your five senses again, right? So we don't necessarily need a ton of occult cards. So maybe we just keep it real basic there. We go like one. Uh, 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 this is if played between, right? If played between two. So not the best for this card then. Hmm. What's the play? What's the play? Your science and art card. So maybe it's this one? Yeah, I like that. Ceramancy. Uh, I think we do. So we got four arts and culture cards. Let's grab one more. One more uh, occult card, just so I have at least a little bit of flexibility on the uh, placement. If you've played any tremendous tree cards this game, your occult cards in hand, what are the chances it's going to be in hand when I draw it? Probably not the greatest. Need eight for that. If you're trailing by 100 or more, your opponent loses 100. Uh, hmm. Tough decisions. Let me hold off on it for now. Let me think. All right, so we got five science. So let's rock. Can we just toss in statue? Make a six brew. All right, so now we've got somewhat of a path. And this card, your wherever it is, gains 20 and all life on land. So we don't want life on land, right? But I do want to toss in the combo with that because why not? If we're going to do it. We might as well do it. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. You guys know it. All right, and then let's just let's just keep this simple. So I don't want to be all day trying to create this bad boy. Let's just toss in Renaissance now. We got six. Uh, I think we go history as our last color here. Let me type in five senses real quick. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that combos with it. That was the card I was thinking of. I couldn't remember what it was, though. Dang, and we don't have it. That would have been a good one. Your five senses, wherever they are, lose five until played, and your five senses, wherever they are, gain ten perm. But we have our six, right? So uh, I was hoping another color, but oh well. Let's jump over to history. Occult. If your deck has three, exactly three hoaxes and cons, your cult cards. Well, we don't own that card, though, so, yeah. We don't have, so we got all the senses. Okay, well, I think we're just going to go good history cards, then. Uh, I do want some type of energy. So I'm thinking maybe Iron Maiden with El Dorado. Make sure we're not struggling in that aspect. And we need four. So what are the go-tos? What's our curve looking like? We got seven, seven, nine drop. <coughs> Two more sevens. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Expensive little curve here. So that does make me nervous. 
would like some cheaper history cards. What else do we like? We got three spots. We could do a Charlemagne with the last three. That is a cheap card, too, which is nice. But we need... What else do we need? We want... Unruly. Boop. And let's see. What do we like here? That one's not too bad. I kind of like that card. Just taking a look. Just taking a look. We're checking it twice. We're going to see if Brandon's going to get his butt kicked tonight. <laughs> Cause you guys wanna see me lose again. Do 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 do. Oh, what do we like here, guys? Do we try the the heavy Andronicus here? With Richard. Maybe we'll just do that. What do you guys think? We can get our butts kicked? Yeah. Maybe. Ooh, I just got a I just want a new sleeve. Boom, right there. Putting it on. Alright. Oh, oh, hang on. What are we naming this thing? Dang it. Dang it. Where'd it go? Oh, up here. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to go Haman Senses. Boom. All right. Let's do it. Let's get our butts kicked. You guys ready for this? I'm a little scared. All right, that's, what, that's how we do it, guys. Do a little deck on the fly. Crack a pack, build a deck, and let's see if we can win with it. I always like doing these uh, these type of videos where i gotta got to think on the fly and try to build something out of a card you open. I think it's cool, you know? Let me know if you guys like this. I can always try to keep this series alive because I, I kind of peeled away from it for a while. I haven't been doing this. I've been thinking about it, though. There was that dragon pack I keep seeing that's got like 10 limiteds in it or something. And I've been meaning to to do a crack a pack with that. But I seen this, five legendaries, and I was like, ooh, we're going to have to do it tonight. Because that's pretty sweet. And we lost our opponent. That's unfortunate. So do I go back? Let's try again. Let's do it again, I guess. Sorry about that, guys. Opponent said, oh, it's four play. And he said, see ya. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm too easy to beat. You guys know. You guys aren't scared. <laughs> Everybody's like, four play's bringing something stupid. <laughs> easy to beat. <laughs> yeah, I do like the challenge. I'm not going to lie. I think that's my favorite part. Like, I don't even like, I don't even care about winning. I just like the challenge with like a really bad deck and then you do finally win and you're like, that was awesome. I don't know why. Like I like to make it harder on myself. And I'm like that with like a lot of games too. Like League of Legends, I, I like chose like the hardest champion to play and I'm like, this is my guy. I got to make it tough on myself. He's, he's not good. Let's do this. All right, so what do we got? We got 10 left so we can go boom, boom. We gotta hold our ceramancy, right? Because we need it for a monkey. Monkeless. Ooh, haven't seen this in a while. Let's 
All right, we got our Liberty. That's nice. And I think we just play Taste. So I wouldn't mind holding Maiden also. And playing that on next round so I get the extra energy. And we don't even care if we lose here, honestly. We don't care about winning the first round. It's nice, but we don't need to. Right, we're going to do it like this. Hope for the best. Ooh, he's stealing me. He's stealing energies. <laughs> that looks like a little Ocean Mammals deck. Interesting. All right, there's our Monkeyless. My little monkey. We ain't playing them as much as I wish I could. We need more occult cards. Ooh, Lone Cypress. I'm kind of liking the bot decks lately. At least they're getting a little more creative. Of course, that last occult card I need is going to be like the very last card in the deck. It's always how it goes. Always how it goes. There it is. Now, let's get this combo down. Boom. Buff my cards. Thank you, sir. Dang, you got us there, too. I was hoping that would be enough to come back on that round, but <laughs> nope. Ooh, we got the other combo. Rock in a hard place. <laughs> That's a cool little combo. It's actually putting down pretty okay power. I'll take 400. That's not bad. Not too shabby. Ugh. One short. All right, we're going like this. No, don't steal. That's all right. I get 19 back, right? It'd be good. All right, well, we're sitting pretty so far. Yeah, I'm liking it. Franz Mark, if your deck has three or more oceans. Okay. Interesting. All right, 
I think we got this in the bag now. I don't think he's coming back from this. I think we done sealed the deal. Let's drop our combo one more time. I think that's going to be GG. Hi right, guys, well that's the deck. Just did a little fun one tonight for you guys, so I think that's all I'm gonna do, just because it's probably already been the typical time, I would imagine, just because I had to go through and do the building of the deck. But let me know if you guys like this series and I will keep it going. But uh thanks for watching guys.